everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our Thursday weather video brought to you by Country TV on Sky Channel 081. Got quite a lot going on, all signs that autumn is finally arriving. Thick fog across Waikato, the first really foggy morning of the year. And in the South Island, your hot cold change is underway. You can see here uh, the clouds, that's the northwest, are all caught up in that area. And then the colder southerly coming in behind it. Also in the tropics, there's a bit of life. There is still the chances of a tropical low coming down towards New Zealand in the final week of March. We're watching that closely because there are some parts of the country, in particular central parts of New Zealand, that really could do with some rain. So fingers crossed on that. But let's get short term now and look what's going on over the next couple of days. Here's that southerly blowing through on Friday morning. Now it'll be a cold start to the day. And then uh, temperature wise, places like uh, Canterbury, your highs are only around 13 to 15 degrees. So it's a bit of a cold one. Other areas uh, in the mid teens, maybe if you're lucky, it's a bit of a cold one, but warmer on the western side. Wellington has the southern and those colder southerlies move up the eastern side as well. Fairly mild for everybody else, chance of a shower, otherwise dry. Now into the weekend, no great change except that there's high pressure pushing back in, so the winds die down a bit. It'll be coldest around Gisborne, that's the final part of the southerly fading out there. Actually gets warmer the further south you go on Saturday, back into the 20s once you go down towards Hawke's Bay, wider upper, and the 20s are back uh, into the South Island after your cold Friday. But a couple of showers possible on the west coast, so in Enjoy your sunny Friday on the west coast because it might be gone by Saturday. And we'll give you Sunday, not, not a big change in the pattern. High pressure dominates, morning cloud, fog patches possible, light easterlies at the top. Norwest is developing again in the south, so the warmth is coming back and it gets even warmer on Monday. And by the way, that's the uh, tropical disturbance to the north that we're watching. It's not a storm, but it could develop into a uh, rain-making low as it drops down here, perhaps around the, end of this, uh, around the end of the third week of March or the start of the fourth week. So we'll keep you posted on that. Don't forget, for the 10-minute long 10-day forecast, you can go to Sky Channel 081 Country TV.